What's going on YouTube? This is what we're doing. This is a hopefully a quick little video on my second channel here. Uh, apparently this is kingroot.net. That's supposed to root Android 5.1 and anything before that. This is a little hundred something dollar phone that was sent to me a little while back and there has been no root for it. It is currently running Android 4.2 I believe. I will go to about and look real quick. 4.4.2. So yeah. It's not on the newest version of Android, but we're going to go ahead and download this application and install it. So install next, open, and root. And this process might take a minute. This looks like it's going fast. Oh, it teased us. It kind of went fast and then it slowed down. All my other phones are rooted. This one, there's no way to root it before. So you're kind of just stuck not having root because it's not a phone you're going to go to the store and buy or go to a carrier and buy. It's not a phone sold in the US. So yeah, <laughs> just a cheap little phone. And we're going to see if we can finally have root access. So that'd be pretty cool. I can remove stuff I don't want on there. I can change stuff. I can do whatever I want pretty much so it'll be pretty freaking awesome if this actually works just go ahead and sit here until it's done this might take a little while I don't know we did it. <laughs> oh my screen turned off is it rebooting Nope. Okay, it's still going. Oh wow, that shot up there quick. Oh my word. Don't know what this means. Okay, uh, let's hit this. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, so. You do this at your own risk, definitely. Why is it counting down? I don't know. Okay, let's see if we have a new app. And it should be called King User right there. Sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and download Root Checker. Come on. Let me pause the video. Alright, right away it rebooted and it said Android is upgrading. Now let's try to open the Play Store again. This is just this phone, man. All right, let me see what happens here when I open the Play Store. It might need me to, yeah, it needs me to sign in. All right, so I signed into my account here. Let's go ahead and download an app called Root Checker. Root Checker. Oh, I'm getting a call. Dang it! Every little thing is interrupting me. All right, Root Checker Pro accept. And we're going to see if this gets root or not. Come on. Download. Open it up. Agree. And verify root. Uh, yes, allow. Nice. It has root. Very freaking awesome. There's a tutorial on how to replace King User with Super SU, and I'm probably going to do that because I mean King Root, King User, and then there's this one right there. Yeah, I definitely do this at your own expense. Like if you're super worried, don't do it. If you have no option, like if you have a Verizon or AT&T phone that you know you, you bought it and you either did or didn't know that AT&T and Verizon lock bootloaders and make root nearly impossible on every single one of their phones then this is going to be your only way of getting root access 